let's go and talk a little bit more about the polymer, the machines itself, the polymer laser sintering with EOS. Um, our focus for today is going to be P110 Velocis, P396, and P770. Uh, these are the machines that offer the TPU material, and depending upon your requirement, your uh, production quantity, um, and even your uh, uh, budget and everything, uh, your economics, we can then suggest the best material for your, uh, the best machine for your facility. Uh, rest assured, all three systems, they uh, produce equally good parts with uh, properties, and there are detailed material data sheets for the, uh, for the systems as well. And this then, after once the parts are printed from the machine, you then need to use the peripheral equipment to basically take out the parts. Uh, and we at EOS, we have a range of these peripheral uh, equipment depending upon uh, your requirement, your facility requirements. Uh, there is the manual solution, which is extremely uh, cost attractive uh, and ideal for developing environments for upcoming uh, uh, customers. Um, uh, then we have the standard solution, which also offers a very good price to uh, performance ratio. Uh, it is also better for the health of the um, operators as well as the environment. And it is semi-automated or partially automated. To show the advanced solution, I have another short video here for you. Uh, the as you see over here, uh, the entire uh, powder management processing is uh, uh, automated and um, it is very ergonomic and requires minimal uh, manual uh, requirement. This is soon going to be available for TPU as well. And uh, it also allows for the best uh, environment conditions, health conditions, as well as the best and the constant uh, quality of the powder. So, yeah. So far, we've seen that how EOS materializes with the partners, they are in the process of the uh, printing of the insoles, they can assist you with the engineering complexity, whether that is the materials, uh, the design, or the process. But this, uh, but printing insoles with TPU and additively manufacturing them uh, also allows you to have uh, greater co cost performance as well. Not only do you have a better product, as we discussed earlier, in terms of comfort, performance, and um, even safety, uh, it is also competitive uh, to the traditional uh, foams or the products that we have. So you clearly have a much uh, better product. And at the same time, uh, we have the supply chain. Uh, Optimally help you with the optimizing of the supply chain uh, with the entire digital supply chain introduction to Industry 4.0 to make sure that you choose the best facility, reduce the cost, and have the best part with you. Uh, and as we go on to help you choose with the best, uh, to realize your end product, to choose the best uh, finish that you have, uh, you can have for your parts as well. I'm gonna now pass it over to Jonas uh, from Dimension uh, to take us a little bit more deeper into the post-processing uh, process uh, of the insoles. 